This is Capital Games. I am the Wiz. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the game that I think is probably the biggest and will likely be the more successful game of this month, and that is Star Wars Jedi Survivor, the sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It was just developed by Respawn and is published by EA. This is a sequel that people have been looking forward to for a while. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order, Order got uh, a, a lot of good reviews, a lot of great word of mouth, and when it was released in 2019, it got a whole bunch of uh, award nominations. It got some end of year accolades. Uh, it was a pretty well liked game, and for a lot of people, that felt it was one of the better Star Wars games or, or better Star Wars stories that came out in the past five years. So to say that people are looking forward to this game is kind of an understatement. So I'm going to talk about what I think the sales projections for this game is going to be and where they could possibly lead towards uh, starting right now. So if we look at the previous success of uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, if we look at the most recent numbers, uh, what I am looking at right now is an article that's on, well, it's on Wikipedia, but Games Radar and other sites have also uh, stated this as well, that Jedi Fallen Order got up, sold more than 10 million copies by the end of 2020. That's a year after it was released, which is fantastic. It is a, it, that's a fantastic success on that one. So if we're looking at 2020, and we're at 2023 right now, I think it's safe to say that it's probably around 12, 13 million copies sold, which is very good. That's, that's really good sales on that end for Jedi Fallen Order. Now, before we get into what I think these sales might be for this game, let's get into what the critics think right now. The, the review embargo has lifted for Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and I'm on open critic right now. And the reviews are pretty strong. It is now at a mighty rating on Open Critic with a top critic average of 86, and 92% of critics recommended. It is looking like they sanded the fine edges of the problems that Fallen Order had to make a much more compelling game, which is really good. And it looks like the story and everything seems to be just as sharp as the last one. We have Games Radar who says that the game, it set itself a, a benchmark what new Star Wars stories can look like, which that's really good praise on that one. A lot of positive feedback from this. So the critics seem to really like this game. Now, Star Wars is a brand that comes with its own fan base. So even if the game was not great, you can expect strong sales just based on the brand alone, unless the game is marred in controversy or is just lacking in a complete sense. But that's not going to be a problem for Jedi Survivor. It looks like it's getting great reviews. There is one controversy to talk about when it comes to Jedi Survivor, and it's not a big controversy, but it could slightly hamper the sales a bit, and that is the, the dealing with the install size of Jedi Survivor. Apparently, if I read correctly, in order to install it on the PS5, you need 150 gigabytes in order to actually do it. And that is for a single player game. On top of that, it's looking like the game is going to require an, inst an install online in order to even play it. The rumor going around is that only half the game is on disc. And then once you get it, it's going to require an update where you're going to have to download the rest of the game. So if you're somebody who isn't online on any of these systems and you buy this game, you're probably not going to be able to play it. I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. I think the hit on sales will be minimal for that. The, um, the amount of hard drive space that you'll need to play the game is a bit of a hindrance, especially since people are getting a, a little tired of having to delete and move their content from their things. But I do not really think that's going to harm the sales at all in this. So I just want to point that out while we're talking about controversies and things that might put a damper a little on it, but I don't think it's gonna hurt the sales at all for Jedi Survivor. Okay, so I talked about the critics, uh, what they think. The the sales from the previous game is around 10 million. They, they lasted into 2020. I'm thinking 12, 13 as of right now. What are we looking at right now? What are the sales projections? What do, you, what do they think that, uh, what do the experts seem to think that Jedi Survivor could make uh, in regards to the first year of its sales. We have some projections saying they're expecting about uh, 11 plus in this uh, for at least the first year, which I can understand that to a certain extent, 
but I am going to say that might be a little bit lower. I think the sequel will do lower numbers than the original one. And I think the main reason has nothing to do with quality. It has to do with the availability of the consoles and the amount of people who have the new consoles right now. Uh, if you're on PC as well, you're going to need a, a beefier system to play it. I think you need a 2060 card in order to actually play the game. So uh, that, that right there, you're going to need stronger hardware to play the game. You're just going to limit the amount of people who would actually purchase and play the game. So in that sense... I think it's going to lower the sales a little bit. Within a year, I can see Jedi Survivor getting 8 million in sales, which I think is still very good. I don't think that will be a failure in that sense for that game specifically. I think what's going to happen is the game will get 8 million in the first year as time goes on will gradually get more and more sales as more and more people get PS5s and Xbox Series Xs. And when that happens, then people are going to want to buy that game. So they're going to buy that system, buy the game, and then they'll, they'll probably get it at a cheap discount too at the, at the time as well. But they will definitely buy it from there on. So it'll be one of those games, as soon as you get the new system, you buy it. Because this game is only available on the next or the current gen systems, I should say. So in that case, I don't think that the sales are going to be huge coming right off the gate, but I think this might double in sales as time goes on from the first game, if I'm looking at the reviews correctly and if the word of mouth is going to stay positive. So I think in originally it, it will make eight in the, within the first year, but I would say as time goes on, you could see a 16, 17 million seller. I mean, people, as much as people complain about Star Wars, a lot of people like Star Wars. And if you tell them there is a good story or a good Star Wars game, it will sell. It will sell very well. And that was shown in Fallen Order. But I think people were kind of in between the generations at a certain point. So they were not buying that game at a certain point. But I think as this game comes out and more and more people get those consoles, this is going to be one of those games that people will snatch up because they hear, oh, it's a great Star Wars game. I love Star Wars. Pick it up. Yeah, absolutely. And then that will be it. That, that will be how it will sell more than its original title. I still don't think it will beat it in, the, in sales in the first year, but I think after a certain period of time, it will overtake Fallen Order and then will eventually announce a third one that will be coming at, at some point as well. I am looking forward to seeing what happens with this game. I haven't played Fallen Order yet. I, I, I do want to at some point, but you know, I have a huge backlog of things that I can play. But yeah, I think the sales on this will be very good. I think it will sell very well. I just don't think it will sell the first ones right away. I think it will be lower in the first year but then as time goes on, it will bounce back and it will get more than the first one. I think that's how it's going to turn out. I think Jedi Survivor is going to be more evergreen title where it will keep selling as time goes on. It's not like I'm not thinking like it's going to be on Minecraft or something like that, where no matter what, or like a Mario Kart 8, where no matter what, it's going to be in the top 20 every year. But I think slowly as time goes on, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we hear 16, 17 million as the final t so sales total as time goes on. I just don't think it's going to be right away. So what do you think? Do you think that these sales are going to be much higher for Jedi Survivor than Jedi Fallen Order? Uh, do you think I'm wrong? What do you think the sales are going to be total as time goes on? Leave a comment on the video and on social media, or you can email me your comment at zerowizcast at gmail.com. Thursday, we have a review of Field of Dreams with me and Kim, and we will be discussing that film at that time. I know you guys are wondering why I'm not talking about the big news that happened today, that is that the, C the British CMA has blocked the purchase of Activision Blizzard to Microsoft. I am going to uh, sit on that for a little bit to see if more happens. And if nothing happens, either I am going to do something on Thursday to talk about it before I do the movie review with Kim, or I'm just going to wait for the weekly dividend, and we'll definitely talk about that in greater length at that time as well. I'm also going to be trying at Honkai Star Rail, so uh, I'll give my impressions on that as well on the weekly dividend. So until then, uh, this is Capital Games. I am The Wiz. Talk to you next time.